Hey guys, so I'm back again and I'm doing another perfume fragrance review today. I did get my nails done yesterday and I'm loving just like the classic French with a little twist where it's a little bit spikier. She did a really good job. Um, so we have in three, I literally just unboxed these. We have in three discovery sets just opened up the discovery set which is very beautifully displayed i love the casing it's very pretty you open it up it looks like this it tells a little bit about the story um when you open it it was founded in 2001 um and is one of the most rare and precious perfume collections love that anything rare you guys know i like my steak rare i like my people rare i like my friends rare um i like everything rare so I'm excited to smell these. I actually have not smelled these for a while. There was a couple of these that I have smelled before, but it's been a while. So I'm excited to smell like almost the entire collection and find some favorites from this collection. It says, it's harmonizing essence of the East and West while continuing the ageless tradition of French perfumery. Advanced in ingredient blending, Montal was the first French perfume collection to use Oud a complex, rich, and smoky ingredient known as the truffle of the perfume industry. And today, the collection features over 95 fragrances, many of which contain oud and the span of which suit any palette. Each fragrance is composed of the finest raw materials in high oud de perfume concentrations for a long-lasting scent that is protected by a specially developed aluminum bottle. Kind of what intrigued me because I loved the... I just love a really pretty bottle and I loved the pink one. The pink bottle is just really, really pretty. We're going to go ahead and review the fruits and the vanilla bestsellers. So the first one we're going to smell is called Daydreams. Very, very soft. Oh my God, already, already I really like this line over what we just reviewed. Um, if you guys haven't watched my previous review, I will link it up here. So you should find the card right up here. I did review a interesting um, French perfume house that you may like if you like more of like the complex, more mature scents. This one, oh my God, like this. This is like a warm hug from a really like sexy, it's like a sexy warm hug. I really, really like this. I have to find out what's in here. So Daydreams already, I can tell it's going to be like one of my favorite fragrances from this line. You just know when you smell it. It's kind of like when I smelled, um, God, there's so many like good ones. Like when I smelled Myth from uh, Ellis, I knew that that was going to be my go-to in that, in that line because it has more of that musk to it. And then when I smelled um, Room Service, I knew by Wilhelm, I knew that that was going to be like my go-to from Wilhelm. So I always find like one where I'm just like, oh my God, this is it. And it always has kind of that similar, just oh, like gives me like full body chills. So this one is a fruity floral gourmand. Mm, I just love it. And the description is like the warm summer nights in Greece. Daydream is a soft breeze of orange blossom, which is totally right up my alley. I love anything orange, lemon, bergamot. Bergamot has to be done right, though, for me to like it. Um, bergamot can sometimes go weird, um, but I think when it's more in that woodsy bergamot is when I like it. Um, this one is orange blossom, mandarin, and it has tiar flower, and then vanilla. So this one's really, really, it's just really pretty. It's like sexy, effortless sexy. It's like sexy without trying to be sexy. It's just like. That's hot. That's hot. This is hot. That's hot. That's hot. A really pretty fragrance. Like, oh, I really like that one a lot. The next one is Sweet Flowers. This one is again a fruity floral gourmand. I kind of got like way too much in my nose at once. It, went, it like went down my throat. Edible perfume. Who remembers? Oh my god, there used to be edible body care. Gross. Possibly the weirdest thing. I think it's Jessica Simpson. Um, it was interesting. So I knew 
I'd probably like this one. This one's a little bit more sweet. This one has more of a, I want to say like caramel, something like caramely. Okay, so yeah, this one has more of the cotton candy. So the notes are cotton candy. That's what it is. It smells like to me, it smells a little caramely, cotton candy, very sweet, like very sugary. Vanilla, white peach, jasmine, and tuberose. I like this. This one would be good for like running errands. This one <laughs> reminds me of like, okay, so there's this place that we go in South Carolina. It's absolutely stunning, very beautiful. It's a little golf island. I would wear this to like go bike riding and go to the little village shops. Like this is very much like an everyday run your errands. Like it just smells very like pretty, like soft and pretty, but it's like an everyday soft and pretty. This is something almost kind of reminds me a little bit of like an advanced like Ariana Grande or like an advanced like Juicy. It just smells very sweet. It's very pretty. Absolutely love that one. The next one we're going to smell is Sweet Vanilla. So this one doesn't have any florals in it. This one is just going to be vanilla, apricot, and white musk. You guys know that I'll probably already love this one and have to run out and buy like a full-size bottle because... Ooh, the apricot makes it interesting. I'm not sure if I love that. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Totally whiffed this in way too quick. Give me a minute. Okay, so the apricot makes this very unique. It's really, really pretty. Like this is pretty, but the apricot, like I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of the apricot personally, but it is like a twist, like a pleasant twist. Okay, now I'm starting to love the dry down. It smells like candy. Um, this one, I need to wear this on. This is gonna be my going out fragrance this week. I'm gonna wear this to dinners. This smells so pretty. It's nice and it's not too much. Like it's more of a softer scent. So you could wear this, like this is not something that you'd have to wear just at like night or anything like that. This one's very versatile. It's almost like a candy, like you can almost taste it. Like the apricot I think gives it this freshness that just gives it this pop. Like it almost is like a, a drink or something. Like, you know what this reminds me of actually is this reminds me of orange cream soda. Like obviously a very sophisticated orange cream soda, but this is orange cream soda. If orange cream soda was like a higher end perfume orange cream soda a million percent like that'd be a good first date perfume actually like if you were going on a first date and you wanted something and you were into musks and you wanted something like sweet light and edible you'd have to be into gourmands too that one definitely has like a more edible like delicious i just i really like it it's really pretty this next one is dark purple and this has notes of plum red fruit rose and patchouli We'll see how the patchouli plays in this one. Normally patchouli, like I said in my last video, I'm not a huge fan of patchouli with oak moss or patchouli with um, sandalwood. I feel like it can make it a little too heavy and I definitely don't like patchouli with frankincense. So um, those are kind of like fragrances I stay away from. I feel like they smell a little too masculine on me. I like more of a feminine, fun, flirty, white floral, white musk, um, vanilla, more of a gourmand. I, I like more of like the sexy in a different way, like the edible sexy or the um, musky sexy versus the woodsy sexy, if that makes sense. So let's play. Let's spray and let's play. <laughs> so this one is the dark purple. Mm. Yes, this one's sexy. Okay, this is love at first whiff. Loves. They're right in there. Loves it. It reminds me, <clears throat> I'm like inhaling too deeply today. Maybe it's because I like this so much better than the last review I did. I'm just like huffing it in. But this one, this one does have more of like a sexy night smell. I'm trying to think it smells like another perfume I've owned before. 
and I can't quite put my like finger on it. But you definitely smell like the rose and patchouli mix very well together. The rose is very sophisticated. It's not like as, it's not super fresh rose. It's more of like a sexy, muted, but like sophisticated rose. It's more of like a, um, oh my God, what does this smell like? This one's really pretty. I may have to buy a bottle of this. This is so freaking, oh, like it just, smelling it just makes you want to like, I don't know, like you, it, you feel like you're walking through a rose garden. That's what this smells like. It smells like a rose garden at midnight. So like you're on a date and you're like just enchanted. It's a very enchanted fragrance. You're walking through this rose garden. It's just the perfect night and the moon's bright and full and it smells like slight woodsy, but very like feminine and really love, absolutely love. Like that is a new favorite, more rosy scent. So this one's Intense Cafe. This one's a floral gourmand. This one is rose, coffee bean, and vanilla. I did a um, questionnaire on Instagram and someone wrote in that they like coffee. This would be a good one for you. This one's very, very soft. And I don't know if it's just because I've smelled a lot already today. Gotta like clear my scent palette. This one's really, really soft. Like I'd have to wear this on, but it seems like it'd be more close to the skin. It's not like a big projection perfume at all. This one's very much like a, a lean in type fragrance. They all have kind of the same under notes. Like um, they have like a, you can definitely smell the DNA throughout this line. And I'm curious to see like with all the other ones, if it continues with those, but it's one that I really like. Like I have yet to smell a fragrance that I wouldn't wear every day. Like I would buy a full size bottle probably of every one that I've smelled so far. Granted, I like the vanilla and I like fruity, but I don't always love fruity. Um, but I really like the two together. I think that they're just something so beautiful about it this one's really pretty now that it's dying down it's almost like i don't know how to it's almost like a sexier like delina like it smells really really pretty and it has that under note the coffee bean plays really nicely with the vanilla like it's not overly coffee like i have a um in my drawer i have the coffee break by um, replica and I feel like that one is more of kind of like a true coffee scent almost like an acidic coffee scent this one is more it's just sweet it's almost like a, a latte or something it just smells very light and sweet like almost like fluffy and sweet with that vanilla in there I would give that like a nine out of 10. I really like that. It's just very, very soft. Okay, so the next one we're gonna smell is Sensual Instinct. Um, this one's a floral gourmand. It's lush and warm, memorizing balance of roasted coffee with fresh rose and praline. So this, I have a feeling, is gonna be a little bit more uh, rich, but we'll see, like more of that coffee, like true coffee, whereas the last one, it, you couldn't really detect the coffee too much. It was very soft. Like I said, it was almost like a latte. Like it didn't have like a strong coffee scent. Um, we're gonna go ahead and spray this one on our tissue. I need to get some little like blotter sticks. But tissues work for now. Yeah, this is exactly what I thought it would be. So this one, oh my God, this is really, really, really pretty. The rose in this is different than the rose that was in the dark purple. The rose in this one is gonna be more of like a fresh rose. It's almost like they cut, it almost smells like a rose soap or something. It's like a very fresh, very um, springtime rose where it's like they just cut it off the stem. I don't know, there's just something really, really pretty about it. It just smells very, very much inviting. Like it's a very inviting scent. Um, I really like it and the praline just kind of warms it up. So like the coffee 
it doesn't smell like coffee straight off the bat. Like you get more of like the praline mixed with the rose but it does have that warmth of that coffee in there. So this would be a really good one. We have one more to talk about. Okay, so our final, I saved like the best for last. Actually, I don't know that because I haven't smelled it yet, but I've heard some great reviews. There's not many reviews out there, um, but I've heard some great reviews of Soleil de Capri by Montel. And again, I'm not gonna show you the bottle because the bottles all look the same, um, but I've heard that this smells like Dolce & Gabbana light blue, but better. So this one's a true unisex. Um, a lot of the people reviewing this were men. Um, there are a few women who were reviewing it, but it's definitely a unisex, but we will see, and I'm gonna smell for myself. I didn't even spray that like on the, there we go. So this one is going to be uh, notes of grapefruit, kumquat, and white musk. Oh, wow. This one's definitely more creamy than Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. But I did bring out Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue to compare. So it's definitely a lot more creamy and woodsy. Like, there's got to be some sort of, like... Maybe there's not. It almost smells like woods at like first breeze, but then it's like it could be just the musk that's in there. This one smells very much masculine, but also I could wear this to the beach. Um, it is a very unique fragrance. It has like a sweetness to it, um, and that could be like the musk bringing up like a sweetness and like maybe the kumquat. I'm not sure, but this one is very, it's like. It's almost like mouth-wateringly good. Like it's almost like you just want to be around this person who's wearing this. It just smells really, really good. It's um fresh, sweet, and creamy all at the same time. Like it just it has a very unique scent to it. I don't think it's anything like Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. Honestly, I don't think it is. Like let me open this bottle and go between the two because I don't think. It is. We're gonna have a little showdown. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue has a very crisp, very, very like high notes. Like if this was a violin, it would be like all the way, like the highest note is would be like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. It's very much like a, it hits your nose and you know that it's Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. It has a very crisp scent to it. Whereas this one has definitely like a more creamy and more sweet. This one's gonna be like that high note scent, this high note fragrance. It's it's not, I don't think they compare, and I've seen people compare them, and I just don't think they compare. They are two very, very, very different fragrances. Um, like, they're just, there really is like no comparison between those two. Um, my initial thoughts on Sole de Capri, I wanna smell the dry down and I wanna smell it on skin, but it is like a lean and close perfume. Like I feel like if a, if someone was wearing it, it's almost like a, you'd smell it and you'd want to like hug them a little bit longer. It just smells like really, like what is that? Like you smell and you're like, what? What is that? It smells so good. Like it's, it's very pretty, um, very pretty. I feel like it's like you're sitting in the sun and it's just like the sun feels warm on your skin. Like this, fragrance like if it were like a mood it would literally be like you're at the beach and it's a beautiful day and you're there with your friends and the sun's like warming your skin and bronzing your skin i like it i feel like it's a, a mimosa kind of like brunch vibe like you could go out to brunch wearing it is if you were guy or girl like it is very unisex but i feel like it does lean a little bit more towards masculine just because i've had someone in my past wear this i think for me personally it leans more towards masculine but it's a true unisex it's something where you could buy like an entire bottle and you could share it with your special person like it's just a very 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 pretty like summer fragrance i could see this being very popular in summer months 